and what's up everybody i'm back with another video game review and today we are reviewing deepest chamber resurrection this is another game that was on the jingle jam bundle for steam uh, i've said it in many videos now but i'll keep saying it until i'm fully through with the backlog um you know it's charity with the Oggs cast every holiday season i got last ones uh, if you want to get next next holiday season, this upcoming holiday season, in fact, because this will probably be coming out late summer-ish, so it's coming up. I know that. Um, but if you want to support it, uh, you know, you just got to stay through with the Oxcast and um, be like 35 bucks, get you a bunch of cool games on Steam, and it all goes to charity. 100% recommend doing it um, and, and giving it a shot, but... Deepest Chamber Resurrection was one of them. And this is one of the bigger games, from what I could tell, this is one of the bigger games that was on the bundle. It's like a strategic card bundling, card deck building RPG type game. And what a stinker I thought it was. It was uh, not one of my favorites. So, so I got a lot of thoughts. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Um, also, I want to talk about something from the opening story, like, piece of it how does going underground completely disintegrate any civility in your in your in your group like they they basically say going underground and people just stopped following rules and just started turning on everybody and like became a completely disintegrated society how does going underground, and they don't give another reason as to why this is. They just say going, they went underground, the whole thing came apart. How does going underground completely disregard anything that had been previously built up on, on the mainland? That is so stupid. And it really just sets a precedent for how this game really is. It's an extremely dumb game. A bunch of full of stupid names and stupid uh, terminologies. And stupid looking enemies, um, you know. Oh, look at me, I'm the Jester. Woo! I gotta fight some people. Woo! Oh, it's a voodoo, guys, they'll throw the fire. And then it's just like, oh, I'm gonna do the slash slash. And then we only have three turns, even though we're all dead. Yay! It's really weird, really, really dumb. Um, and there's really barely any tutorial, so I had no clue what I was doing for most of these cards. Um, some of them are pretty obvious, you know, you throw a fireball, or you add shields, or you heal, or stuff like that. But then there was this whole thing with, like, boosting, and, like, on my first turn, why would I want to boost? Why would I want to play a defense card and waste my turn here when I can't get any more defenses to boost the damn fireball so I can do two more damage? doesn't uh, and like some of them i had no clue what they did at all and so i was kind of just playing them willy-nilly and whatnot and that doesn't work for very long you got them because they start having an asinine amount of health and they can and there's one one mission where it's just like oh this one guy can't be attacked at all because he he's being uh, on, a, on a resurrection i don't even remember what else it was called it's like a resurrection thing of a thing of a boober or, or whatever Uh, and just like what the fuck because like because, because this motherfucker literally you have to apply the it tells you to apply the shield on the first turn so that's what I do I apply the shield and then the guy gets to go over next and then he goes bzz, bzz, and then the shield blocks you so then what do we, so like okay maybe the shield does if you play shields uh, he can't do any damage to anybody on the team, so it will block. So what do I do? I apply shields. Next turn, I apply shields. And then what do you fucking do? Bzz, bzz, and apparently, that doesn't fucking matter, because the other guy died. What the fuck? Why does the shields work the first time? But they don't work the second, third, or any other time. And the guy has like 15,000 health. It's not like you can kill him in two hits. <sighs> There is a good amount of strategy with the game, I will not lie. Um, it's just really difficult to figure out. Because, again, it kind of just expects you to know. And 
I don't know. And they put it in the Jingle Jam bundle. I guarantee most of the people that bought the Jingle Jam bundle did not know about this game at all either. Um, that's kind of the point with the bundle is to promote lower developers um, and promote lesser known games so they get boosts and while also giving to charity. So I don't know what they were thinking with this game. I gotta be honest with you. I've heard great things about it. I do not agree with a lot of what people said, to be honest. I just do not. So, all right. So, uh, that's gonna do it though for this review. Um, so stay tuned. Oh, I'm gonna get my final score. Obviously, uh, my final score for um, Deepest Chamber Resurrection is gonna be a good four out of ten. I did not like it. Did not like it at all. So, um, that's going to do it for this review. Um, if you've ever played this game, uh, I'd love to know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. What do you think about my opinions about the game? What did I not understand? Should I have known about this game going in? i love to know it all because I am completely in the dark, it feels like, about this. So, But that's going to do it for this review, so stay tuned for much more amazing content, including more game reviews and other awesome stuff. Until next time, see you guys later. Goodbye.